Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Altered Hydro Rex. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 550 feet. Weight, 8 to 5,000 tons. Status, villain in creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Savage, destructive, and craving. It'll do anything to cure its bloodlust. Lethality. Extremely lethal to most opponents and their dwellings. Weaknesses. Explosives, electricity, and stab wounds. Powers. It has the head, body, and tail of a shark, along with the arms and legs of a T-Rex. It's also a fast swimmer, can breathe fire, and is clever when it comes to using the environment in battle. Eyes, deep black. Hair, none. Origin. After being amused with the potential of her Hydra Rex, the villainous mad scientist known as Dr. Scream decided to create the reverse form which she named the Altered Hydra Rex. After commanding it to join the Octacondodon in its rampage in India, characters Femzilla, which is affiliated with Kyjericus, and the Moon Queen, who's the queen of all moons and creator of the Lunarians, arrived and used their full potential to destroy both targets, saving the country in the process. Outraged of another defeat, Dr. Scream decided to resurrect both of the creatures for future plots, making sure to improve on them. Costume? None. Team? Solitary. For Dr. Scream and other creatures. Original inspiration? Poseidon Rex. Here's the second creature. Altered Hydro Spine. Real name? Inapplicable. Height, 575 feet. Weight, 95,000 tons. Status, villain, and creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Savage and willful. It'll do anything to hunt all in its path. Lethality. Extremely dangerous to most opponents and their dwellings. Weaknesses. Explosives and spinal fractures. Powers. It has the head, body, and tail of a shark, along with the arms, legs, and sail of a Spinosaurus. It's also a fast swimmer, is skilled at dodging its opponents, and can project freezing cold from its mouth. Eyes, deep black, hair, none. Origin. 
After being amused with the destructive power of the Hydro Spine, Dr. Scream decided to make a reverse of the creature, which she named the Altered Hydro Spine. After sending her creation to annihilate Tokyo, it started struggling with the chaotic, monstrous native dragon known as Orochi of Japanese mythology, which is basically Big Snake of Eight Branches. As soon as the Moon Queen showed up, she was badly struggling at first until she finally killed the monster. Angered at another defeat, Dr. Scream resurrected the altered Hydro Spine for future schemes. Costume, none. Team, solitary for Dr. Scream and other creatures. Original inspiration, Spinosaurus and sharks. Here's the last creature, just so you know. Amphitires. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 6 feet to 20 feet. Weight, 205 pounds to 3 tons. Status, villain in creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 2 brains. Behavior. Savage, yet annoying. They'll do anything to cure their hunger. Lethality. Severely deadly, let alone making you wish that you're dead. Weaknesses. They have no healing factor. Powers. They have wings that enable flight, long bodies for constricting, and possess the head of any predatory animal. They also hunt in swarms. Eyes and hair. Varied. Origin. One time, Dr. Scream decided to annoy and horrify her opponents by creating a series of unbearable flying creatures known as amphitires, which is basically winged snakes. After commanding them to attack the New York City of the Alpha Earth via the Vortex system of the villainous Vortex, which is the evil counterpart of Portal, the amphitires were spreading utter chaos until they got defeated by the heroic Alpha Trio, which are a native hero team to the Alpha Earth. After that specific event, Dr. Scream decided to recreate her amphitires for future attempts at devastation. Costume, none. Teams, swarms for Dr. Scream and other creatures. Social inspiration, amphitires of mythology. Happy Shark Week, everyone! I really hope that this video would be worth it in terms of the two shark-based creatures I've created. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Have a nice rest of the shark week and the rest of the month of July. And until next time, in transmission.